sure hope this technology is getting better. Because I'm fucking tired and I don't feel good. And these people suck, man. Whew. You ever, uh... <sighs> Watch the news. Watch TV. Last night on the news, they had, uh... The storm drains in El Paso and how the uh, Mexicans are coming through it. All right. And then they gave my how-to video. You know, you should wear um, bike helmets and knee pads in case you fall because it's dark. Okay. Also, another another thing to do would be, you know, because you, they're paying like $1,000 to the coyotes and stuff like that. So another thing the coyotes are going to do, uh, coyotes make sure you have knee pads for the people and helmets, you know, so... And, uh, or, or people aren't gonna, you know, you're gonna negotiate your deals, right? And then you gotta have flashlights and stuff. And, um, of course, you, you can't go on them. You have to check the thing, see if it's gonna rain and stuff. But, um, maybe if it's a light storm, you give it a try because the, 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 they won't think you're gonna do it. And then, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, goes check and see how much rain goes in there depending on how much rain is in the forecast that kind of stuff you know so you you know so they they had they gave you all kinds of how to do it stuff it was almost like watching george bush back in the day telling everybody on 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 mass television it wasn't as bad as george bush george bush came on right told the whole united states hey we've got a big problem there's a man named ricky ross in los angeles and he has cocaine that's rock cocaine. It's, it's made out of chemicals and cocaine. So it cuts the cost of cocaine. Goes into your system twice as fast. Uh, literally kills your brain's ability to enjoy sex or anything because it just gives you the feeling of a coke rush, right? It's real cheap. He's got houses all over Los Angeles that are like crack, drive through crack McDonald's that are real hard to shut down. Okay. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, and he goes on TV and tells everybody about it, right? Says it's a big problem. And then all these people that didn't know, like, wow, did you know we can afford cocaine? And wow, you know, and they do the same thing with, uh, on the news about smuggling, you know, you can make thousands of dollars smuggling illegal immigrants, uh, 17 year old trying to buy a new car, right? So, you know, they, they do it all the time. That's that's all that the news is for, is training, telling you how to join the dysfunction, how to make lots of money off the dysfunction, how to be Ocean's 8, how to be Ocean's 11, how to be Ocean's 13, okay? How to be the next Frank Abagnon. Watch your news, okay? Get your ideas, okay? <laughs> I mean, the guy at the University of Idaho, Okay. He taught criminology at Washington State okay. and then tried to get away with it. Right. He became what he taught. Like you guys, you, 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 you watch The Avengers, you watch, you, you watch A Quiet Place, you watch, you watch um, uh, uh, Aliens, you watch um, uh, uh, Transformers, you watch uh, you know, you know, all these psychotic, murdering, 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 violent, aggressive, murdering, murdering movies. Okay? Professional wrestling. Okay? It's sick. You're being trained to fight like hell for what you want. And when you go, and you're watching that on the ESPYs, and the guy's sitting there, this one guy's sitting in a wheelchair who's disabled like Stephen Hawking, right? They have his computer talking for him, right? They show his face, and it's kind of moving, and he's got like almost tears. He's got a cute kid standing next to him holding a rock Award, and they're both proud of winning this rock Award allegedly, right? It's a fucking rock. It's a goddamn fucking rock. It's not the Lord's Prayer and World Peace. It's a fucking rock from a corporation that trains people to be aggressive, selfish, sexually abusive, and violent. And you're proud of this? <laughs> Fuck. 
Okay. And then you get all these people in the stands, okay, that fight like hell for fuck money and then advertise how it's, it's wow, we, we, we know you, we see you, we're trying to stop all the aggressive, sexual, emotional, mental dysfunction in your schools, make sure you go to a professional and get drugs or electrothop therapy and make sure they get together and say, hey, none of that stuff. You're not a multimillionaire and billionaire. You got no right to talk shit about Harrison Butker. <laughs> he may be stupid as fuck, but I think his heart's in the right place. Is it? I, you know, um, I don't know. Because all those universities they talk about, they're not Christian or Muslim universities, guys. Okay? Guys, there was a man named Joseph Smith. He had revelation. And had conversations with uh, with Adam, Moses, David, Jesus, John. Okay. And then the, the the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of peace, the spirit of the Holy Father, which is you know connected worldwide. It's what they try to explain in the Gospels. They turn it into magic. Jesus floated and talked to everybody. And it was like no, it was visions and prayer, like Juan Diego talking to the mother of the. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So that's what it is. It's like the book of Job. Okay, and Jonah. Jonah. Jonah's a real good one. Dream notebook. So you see what I'm saying? So, um, and and the revelations of John from the book of Revelation, he, that none of that stuff happens. He's, those are revelations, like the book of Daniel. Okay. Durf! Hello! Big burger, big fly! It happens, right? You talk to people in relative terms, past, better, and future operate at the same time. I need help. I'm faithful. Tell me what to do, right? You see what I'm saying? All right. So Joseph Smith does that. And then Joseph Smith goes and because he's told by the spirit of the Lord that all the churches are wrong, that philanthropy is wrong, and you should try to go back and live, get people together and live the ways of Solomon's Israel. Okay. And so he tries to do this. He goes west and gets everybody together, and they all try to do that. Share, care, give in accordance to need, right? And every time he does that, it fucks with the local economy. Cause, and especially all the attractive women that are sexually, it doesn't even, attractive meaning kind, meaning, you know, the women flock to Joseph Smith and his, and his cause they're tired. In the United States at this time, women and children are property and can be sexually abused by their own family. Okay. And, in Joseph Smith's um, New Israel, every time he goes, um, you're you're allowed to pick who you want to marry, and you're not treated as sexual property, and you are, you are a woman. You're not a piece of property. And so it's, wow, you know. And so that's very attractive. And then he's, oh, they're polygamists. Yes, they, they, they'd rather be five women married to one Mormon, okay, then one woman fucked by five of her cousins and her dad and her two brothers. Okay, do you see that, that that's what he was doing? Okay. And then when he went to Nauvoo and they flourished, the United States came and tore him down because it shut down their economic war machine structure. Okay. Everywhere he went and it started to flourish, the United States said, so this is a threat to our government. This will destroy our structure of our government. This will dismantle the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the elect a war president, elect a war club. This will ruin everything. This this will give this is this is like having Jesus and Muhammad trying to shut down our war genocide class warfare factory. Okay. Do you understand? Just like on the news last night, the, the guy for the Biden administration, which would be the same as even worse, they say, with the Trump administration. I don't know. A bunch of people are getting together and killing each other over economics. And you got kids in the park saying, hey, I support the one group that kills people over economics as opposed to the other. No one's saying, hey, Gonzaga, BYU, Notre Dame, Fordham, uh, you know, uh, TCU, SMU. What about the Lord's Prayer and Jesus Christ, right? Why don't we live the ways of King Solomon? No one's saying that, right? And this guy gets on there and there's all these elites in Europe and they said, we're going to give them F-16s this summer made here in Europe to mass murder the poor in Ukraine as fast as they're mass murdering the poor in the Ukraine and Russia. So we will be able to mass murder Russians the same way the Russians are mass murdering the Rakers at the same rate this summer. And they're all cheering and they're all happy. 
And the guy from Utah here says, we don't have enough money to mass murder more Russians to keep up with the mass murder of the Ukrainians. And that man claims to be like Joseph Smith. <laughs> they're fucking crazy. Okay? And don't tell me they're not. And don't tell me you're not fucking crazy. Because all the people on the ESPYs were all dressed in designer clothes with custom-made million-dollar jewelry saying they act just like Jesus Christ. And the people that act like Joseph Smith are, can go fuck themselves with Americans and Butker. Because we women are making as, uh, trying to make as much money playing sports as these asshole men. They're gross. Okay, I love you. 